Let's talk briefly about your magnetic compass. Now we'll begin by making the assumption that you're already acquainted with the rules about calibration of your magnetic compass and that you have an up-to-date compass card in the aircraft. We also assume that you know that in order to swing the compass, that is to turn the adjusting screws that are located behind this little card, that you need a non-metallic screwdriver like this brass screwdriver that we bought some years ago from an aviation supply house. More importantly, though, this compass has presented problems to us for a number of years. And if not this specific unit, ones like it. At one time, we even had a Hamilton air-damped compass. You can probably still see the rivet marks here installed in this airplane. No matter what compass we used, it was almost impossible for us to achieve accuracy greater than 30 degrees. And we struggled with why this might be for a good many years before a wonderful mechanic at Waukegan Aviation explained to us what the problem likely was, and it turned out he was We'd right. We'd actually flown this 1970 Piper Cherokee to airports uh, around the country to use a compass rose to try to get the compass to be more accurate. We couldn't figure out what the problem was. We assumed uh, for a time that perhaps it was avionics and even replaced a marker beacon receiver thinking that the metal in the cockpit might be the problem that was affecting compass accuracy. But as Kirk Swanick at Waukegan Aviation pointed out to us, the problem could be, and it turned out it was, the engine mounts. Why, you may ask? Well, if your engine mounts have been welded, it's possible that the electromagnetic field generated in the welding process has actually magnetized the steel. What's required is a degaussing coil. And you may be familiar with this from the old days of cathode ray tube television when degaussing coils were sometimes used to improve picture quality. In any event, Kirk and his crew simply degaussed the engine mounts of this airplane and the compass now is fabulously accurate.